So this is part two of a three-part video. First part I put on the white terra sigillata. Here I have a uh, wax resist. It's a water-based wax resist. And I'm going to play around with something I haven't actually done before. Just to make a geometric pattern on this pot. We'll just see how it works out. My concept is that by applying the wax resist, when I fire this outside in my Raku kiln, wherever, oops, wherever there's wax resist, the color will stay black. And uh, wherever I apply red terra sigillata, so I'm just going to very casually make some squares Let's see, this one might come all the way up. There's going to be a square there. There's going to be a square here. Uh, I think this wants to keep going down, so maybe it'll be a square there. And then my thinking was I'm not sure how this is going to come out is within each of these squares I'm going to put some dots or maybe some random uh, kind of geometric designs maybe initially some fatter dots. And now remember that this, what I'm painting with, is a wax resist. So this will all be orange and the dots will be black. Da 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 da. Of course, I love, absolutely love playing with fire. And that's a, a real beautiful part of uh, working with clay because you got to make what you're going to make, but then you have to give it over to the fire and the fire is going to decide if it's going to be really beautiful or not. Whether it's an electric kiln in your studio or... Uh, Let's just see what happens if we do a couple of flowers. Maybe, you know, it's poppy season right now, so think about if you did a really pretty poppy. I think it'll take me a little bit of time to decorate this whole pot, so I'm going to leave you this with part two. And we'll get to part three when I apply the red terracage.